Hi, today I want to talk about something we can do with a winter squash. This is an acorn squash. This is a great winter squash, and this is actually a nice size acorn squash that you can hold in your hands. What I did is I have four of these, and I cut three of them in half. And I scooped out the seeds that are on the inside. So here are just halves of two of them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stuff these. So I took three small zucchinis and diced them up, half of a red onion and diced it up, and about a quarter of a bell pepper. And I used a green bell pepper because that's what we have in the house. And then I cooked up some chorizo. When the chorizo was almost done, I mixed the veggies in so they got cooked as well. So you can see we've got a nice mixture here of this. And what we're going to do is we're simply going to put this in the middle. And we're going to stuff this. Then we can bake it at 375 for 30 minutes. And at that point, the acorn squash should be soft. And you can then eat this and you can just scoop the acorn squash out. You should be able to scoop it out and be able to leave the green outside behind and be able to have this as a nice meal. The reason that I chose to put some chorizo in it is so that I had a nice good source of protein. So I have protein, I have veggies, I have a lot of good stuff in here. If you would like, you could always go ahead and take this and put some cheese on it as well. Putting cheese on it is going to um, add a little bit of fat, a little bit of protein to this. So you get a nice, very well-rounded meal. All right, I'm stuffing my last one. So I want to show you what these look like on the plate before I put it into my oven. My husband and I both really like goat cheese, so I'm going to take some smoked goat cheese. I'm simply going to grate this so that it is on top of a couple of these. Since this is a recipe that I have actually not done before, I'm only going to do this on top of a few of them just to see if this is something that we like on top. All right, so we've got some cheese on top. This is what my acorn squash looks like before I put it into the oven to bake. You can see that three of them have smoked goat cheese on top and the other three do not. All right, the acorns are out. I want to show you what they look like. So this is one that had the smoked goat cheese on it. The smoked goat cheese actually didn't melt the way that I thought it would but it still is going to be yummy. So thank you so much for joining me in looking at how to stuff acorn squash. If there are any recipes or any things that you would like me to try, please feel free to comment and I would love to try new things. I always love to try new things. So I'm gonna go and I'm going to eat my stuffed acorn squash. Have a great rest of your day.